In this video, we're going to look at how the compound interest formula is derived. The compound interest formula is given by A is equal to P times 1 plus R to the power of N. A is the balance amount in the account at the end of the investment period. P is the principal or the initial amount invested. R is the interest rate and we must express this as a percentage or a decimal corresponding to how often the investment is compounded. For example, if we compound the investment every year, then the interest rate should be expressed per annum. If the investment is compounded per quarter, then R should be expressed as an interest rate per quarter. And N is the number of periods which the amount is compounded. Let's consider what happens when we invest a principal P of $1,000 at an interest rate R of 10% per annum compounded yearly. In year one, we start off with $1,000 and this $1,000 is going to increase by 10% and this is equivalent to 1,000 times 1.1 and this is our balance at the end of year one. In year two, we now start off with 1,000 times 1.1 at the beginning of the year, and this entire amount will also grow by another 10%, so we're going to multiply it by 1.1 again, and this simplifies to 1,000 times 1.1 squared. So in year three, we start off with 1,000 times 1.1 squared, and this amount is going to increase by another 10%, so that's multiplying by another 1.1, and this will simplify to 1,000 times 1.1 cubed. And again, the same thing happens in year four. We now start with 1,000 times 1.1 cubed, and we're going to multiply by 1.1 because again, it increases by another 10%, so that the final balance at the end of year four now becomes 1,000 times 1.1 to the power of 4. So we can see here that the 1000 remains the same throughout the year, the 1.1 remains the same throughout the year. The index changes and it corresponds to the year we're in. So in year 2, we raise it to a power of 2, year 3, we raise it to a power of 3, year 4, we raise it to a power of 4. So we can generalize this to year n. So in year n, we're going to then have a balance of 1,000 times 1.1 to the power of n. So if we now go back and replace the $1,000 with the variable p, the 1.1 with 1 plus r, and n is the number of periods, we now have the general formula for the compound interest, which is a is equal to p times 1 plus r to the n. Thanks for watching, everyone. In the next few videos, we're going to look at how to apply the compound interest formula. So make sure to subscribe. See you all soon. Bye for now.